Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day, we've been doing a bit of spending for the workshop. Let's go. So we have been shopping uh, for some 84 engineering components and our grinder, which we've been using for a while, which is over here, a little grinder, which is a basic grinder, that's been perfect for what we needed for now, but we wanted to get something with a bit more precision. So we went shopping and we went to Multitool, and I'll do a link down below to Multitool, and we bought the Deluxe 2x72 84 Engineering grinder. It's come in loads of boxes. Uh, we've also got the surface grinder attachment, which is down here, very heavy. Um, we've got the small arm attachment, the working tool attachment. We've got the floor stand, which we need to chemically bond to the floor. We've got the motors and we've got the actual grinder in here. We're going to quickly, quickly, I don't know how long it's going to take. We're going to put it together and make sure that it's uh, for us. Get it onto, uh, onto the stand and then um, yeah, we'll see what we think about it. Okay, let's put it together. Down to here then. So this is the first box. This is the main grinder. Um, we've got the platen. Um, that's w the one. The one that we purchased. Um, we purchased the, the um, premium package, and what that actually includes is half of the uh, unit is already built up, so it should make it a little bit easier for us to put together. Um, we've only had a brief look at it. I uh, took some stuff away, um, but inside of the box, uh, epic unboxing. Um, we've got some sort of tool arm, so just move it onto the side here. And um, obviously we've got the platen, which you saw a minute ago. Uh, this is the bulk of the unit. Um, that's the working arm. Let's just open this up. Um, these come either pre-painted or unpainted. Um, I decided to swap for the painted version, just because it's going to take some battering. So as you can see, that's, this is a really interesting part here. Is that in focus, Mini Dudes? Yep. So this is where the belt will slide down. So you can actually bring your work right up against the, uh, the belt. So that's a really nice tool arm. Pop that down here for a moment. Uh, then we've got the main grinder. Then we've got the main grinder. Um, when you buy this as a premium pack, God, that's heavy. <laughs> um, you don't have to put all these bolts in. Um, or this, uh, this wheel here is for alignment. Um, or the piston here, it's already put on almost. So this, this arm goes up and down, and it should be uh, loose enough that it doesn't just drop, but it can hold its own weight. So this has already been pre-built for me. The only thing I need to do is put this piston arm on, which I'll do in a moment. Um, and what they suggest though is mount it straight onto the floor stand, which is over here. So we need to unpack the floor stand, uh, mount it directly onto there, because this gets really heavy. Just this unit itself is about 25 kilograms, so it's very, very heavy. Um, we've also got to add on to here the motor, which goes here. Um, but for now, let's, uh, let's find the bolts for mounting this onto the main unit, which I, I hope are in here, because I can't say, I think they might actually be in the stand. Um, let's get this onto there, uh, and then start adding all the other attachments onto it. Let's uh, get unpacking. Okay, the first challenge was, uh, Mini Dupes and I were looking at uh, <laughs> the floor stand. When you undo it here, it rises up. Um, and you can move it up, it's quite tight at the moment. Um, what we're trying to work out is that when you connect the machine onto here, which way does it go? And you look at the machine, and we're logically thinking that, sure it connects here, but surely it has to be horizontal and you flip it um, vertically. But in fact, this part here sits on top of this part here with the four bolts. So we'll um, present this unit up underneath here and then bolt down. So we'll quickly do that off camera. And then we'll uh, then we'll show you how it looks. Okay, let me just show you what we've done. I have to come this way. Bring this way. Uh, I've got to just tighten this up. But as you can see, um, as you can see on here, we've got the four bolts in. I'll show you swapping or flipping it down in a moment. I'm just going to tighten these up. Um, we use a Allen key on top, and we'll just use a spanner underneath. We'll just do that off camera. Okay, the bolts are in. The bolts are in now. Um, what we can do, we haven't finished the top bit yet, but what you can do is now you can lift it and tilt it over and then lock it down here and then you can use it horizontally. Um, obviously not got the motor on and everything like that yet. 
Um, but that's one of the benefits of this grind and this stand is that you can uh, make it horizontal. Um, I'm using my foot on it at the moment, which you see it's quite heavy. I need to chemically bond this to the ground. You just undo this and then flip it up and then do it back up again. Ah, now how do you do that? Oh, that's interesting. So I need to probably get that so it's just a little. Hmm, interesting. How do you. Ah, yes, it does. We need to just find that you can bend, pull it out and push it back in and it's locked. So if I twist it around, these can pull out to adjust. That's quite clever. So you can adjust the bolt by doing this, then pull it out, then move the handle around and come back down again. That's actually really quite clever. Well engineered, 84 engineering. So the next bit is this bar. Um, we'll take the arm off. Um, we have to screw this into here. Okay, so this is a little 12. We'll just quickly tighten this up. It's just the piston arm. And what you can do, push it down, push it up. You can hear the And that nice sets the tension. So you can pull it down to put your belt on, lift it up, and it locks it. Next bit. Okay, now that we have got the uh, the arm on, um, we've got these two little, uh, I don't even call them locking nuts. Show sure that. Is. And then we pop these into here, these two here, and screw them in. Mini Dude is just going to do that. And then they just need to put your finger on the inside here just to make sure it doesn't hit uh, hit your finger. That'll do. And they, they're for locking the, uh, the arms in. Just put that one in there. Next thing I'm going to put on is the motor. If you just get that just so it's just in there, mini dupes it'll do for the moment. A couple of bits like that. There we go. Right, now we're going to get the motor. Um, we're going to present the motor onto here, bolt it through, um, and then we'll attach the wheel. Um, and then we're nearly there. So mini dupes is now presenting it up. Uh, if you put it through. No, I'm just putting it on the next head. Right, put it through. I'll put the bolts in. Uh, looking for the holes. If you go up to your right slightly. And then we get, a, these are, I think, a six mil uh, bolts. We'll just pop them into there and screw it together. Now we've got that on there. Um, we have to take this little drive wheel, and you see a little uh, indentation there. Um, turn it around. That goes onto there. <laughs> okay, that's the uh, the wheel on, and we've got a bolt and a... Uh, a washer will just pop into there. Let's just make sure it stays on. And we've got a, I think it's another six mil uh, Allen key. We'll just tighten it up into there. Okay, this is a tracking wheel. Um, this goes in here. You've got a washer on there. Um, you simply put it on here and tighten it down. Get the big Allen key on this. Oh, no, even bigger Allen key on this. Just tighten it up. That's our tracking wheel. And then what we've also got is the shield. Now I'm going to set this back up and this shield goes above there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to stand this back up. Lock it, motor's on. And I just need to, because this came pre-built, I just got to undo these two uh, um, little, I think they're M6 or M8 bolts, pop those in there. So I just get the uh, other Allen key. So, what do we have now? We can move this up and down. Uh, we've got these ready to put the tool arms in. I think from as I understand it next, we put the tool arm in and then we'll align uh, the tool arm against this so it's all straight. Yeah. Right, so we've got the tool arm and we've got the platen. We're gonna put those in. So the tool arm simply pops in here as I'm led to believe. Um, that's nice and tight. Then. We'll just tighten it up so it doesn't go anywhere. In fact, we'll just, uh, if we just tighten it up a little bit. Tighten the tool arm up. Okay, and we'll put the platen in. It just slots into this slot here. I don't know if you can see on the top. Okay. And then we're trying to get the clearance around here. If you can just come around the other side, please, mini dupes. The clearance on these bolts here should be one mil, so it's going to be ever so tight. Um, 
And once you've got that tight, just lock this down. You then adjust this um, mechanism here to make sure it's tight into there. So I just get a small Allen key. So just undo this. And then put that collar against. Make sure you've got clearance here. And we'll tighten this up again. And that should be now flow freely. That's the arm on. Last but not least is the workbench. Pop this in here. This will go up to here. And as you can see, I mentioned earlier, this goes uh, against here. And then you lock it in. Just lock that down. And then what we would do, we'd get a, a square. You can use a one, two, three block. You can use a square. You can see that's miles out. So, make sure that's lovely and square. Lock it in. That's perfect. And now we're ready to plug it in and give it a try. I'll just get some power. Um, to give it a first go. Everything's locked down. Uh, that's all working. Right, power. Ooh, it's on. I want to go forward. And if you watch over here, it should. Move forward. Can you see that many dupes? Sounds so much better than the other one. And this needs to come out. So let's just lock that down slightly. Put it a little bit. Lock that to there. Lift it out so it locks. That should be nice and tight. Now bear in mind we're not level here at the moment, but this is just a test. Lock that in place. Run her forward. So that's the grinder built. Um, we do have the uh, surface grinder attachment, which we need to figure out how to connect up. We'll do that uh, in a moment. But for this particular video, that's our 2x72 84 engineering grinder. I hope you found it useful. And that's it for this week. I look forward to seeing you next week on Dubrizet. Cheers, guys.